Alright guys, so we are once again in sunny Portugal, but this time I'm riding a very different bike. So this is now my new bike. I have in fact bought a CBR600RR, which was something that I always wanted to own. And well, now I finally have it. It is a 2004 model, mostly stock which is amazing and the best thing of it is it has 7,000 kilometers guys it's a 14 year old bike with 7,000 kilometers that will be roughly around 4,000 miles which is absolutely amazing bike is in pristine condition and already comes with a few mods that I really really like so I have aftermarket devil exhaust carbon with a custom made uh, pipe so it no longer has a catalytic converter and it's basically a straight it's not a straight pipe but it, it has been custom made here in Portugal to fit this bike so it sounds awesome and it actually rides awesome as well the bike gets a lot loose, a lot looser. I don't know how you say, but you can feel a big difference between having the silencer on and having the silencer out. Obviously, in noise, in both noise and both uh, throttle response, it's it's very very different, and I really love it. Yeah. It is a very smooth bike to ride. So this bike, like I said, was fully stock. Uh, everything is still from 2004, which is <laughs> amazing. So it has uh, it, it, it has stock gearing, so both chain and sprockets are still the stock ones, and they're in excellent condition. And it still had stock tires, but I already put some new BT016 Pro. So these are the Bridgestone Batlax BT-016 Pro because this bike will not be doing a lot of... Look at this guy, honestly. This bike will not be doing a lot of miles. So I wanted to get the grippiest tire I could because my dad will be riding it every now and then. So I want everything to be safe, everything to be riding the way it should. Also had an oil change, so I put some Castrol Power One 10W40, which for Portugal is the ideal oil for these bikes. And that is mostly it. I haven't touched anything else yet. There's a, some bits and bobs that I want to do. There's a tail tidy I want to put in. There's some new indicators I want to put in. There's indicator regulator, because the backlight is LED with integrated indicators, just like I have on the Hornet. Uh, so it flashes quite fast and I want that to get solved But other than that, honestly, I'm gonna leave the bike almost as it is. I love it the way it is The fact that it's fully stock it still has all the stickers It's a trap! When it, uh, it still has all the stickers that I had when it came out of the factory Which is absolutely amazing. I'm really enjoying it. It is an amazing bike to ride uh, you do notice a big difference between this and the Hornet both on kind of top end and both on the way it leans into the corners so because it is a super sports uh, however you want to call it because it is a super sports the bike behaves awesome in corners I'm still a bit scared to be honest first because I'm not used to it and second because tires are brand new so I still want to I still need to put them uh, sorry, I still need to have that um, slippery thing that tires come with when they're new. I still need to remove it little by little. I'm almost there, but you know, I'm still a bit scared. I don't want to crash the bike in the first days or ever since we're talking about it. It is very smooth. This throttle is very smooth. Uh, the Hornet is actually quite hard to twist. But maybe because it's a naked bike, they do them differently. Because every Super Sport I rode was a bit like this. So throttle is very sensitive and it's actually very nice. Clutch also kind of grabs a little bit further away than the Hornet. Hornet, I need to get my fingers closer to the handlebar in order for it to disengage. 
here it kind of it's just a little smell and it disengages with the Hornet doing about 14,000 RPM I was like whoa this bike revs has a very high rotation this one has a red line on about 17k there we go has a red line on about 17k which is absolutely mental I never actually went full-on but if you want Let's not get too excited here because when we start to get too excited that's when things go wrong. So let's just chill a little bit. Two seconds later. <laughs> Outside my window, I hear him calling. 